वेलकम बैक एज अ फ्यू डेज अगो इंटेल रिलीज एक्स एस 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 डी के वर्जन टू पॉइंट वन दैट अलाउड एक्स एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन एंड लो लेटेंसी मोड टू वर्क ऑन नॉन इंटेल जी पी यूज इन ऑर्डर फॉर दीज एक्स एस एस फीचर्स टू वर्क ऑन नॉन इंटेल जी पी यूज दीज जी पी यूज नीड टू सपोर्ट शेड मॉडल सिक्स पॉइंट फोर एन थिंग न्यूर देन दिस आई एल बी टेस्टिंग एक्स एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन एंड लो लेटेंसी ऑन माई स्टीम डेक रनिंग ऑन लिनेक्स बेस टीम एस विल बी टेस्टिंग दीज फीचर्स इन हॉकवर्ड्स लेगेसी एंड साइपंग टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी सेवन I searched for Steam Deck on Tech Power Up website. Here I was able to find information about Steam Deck's GPU. It supports Shader Model 6.8. I have already done my testing. XSS frame generation works just fine on Steam Deck. It's very easy to tell that frame generation is working by observing the smoothing effect. Animation quality should not look choppy. On Windows, we can use Intel's Inspector app to verify the status of XSS frame generation and low latency. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this app working on Linux-based Steam OS. I wanted to use this app to verify the status of XSS low latency mode, but I was able to use low latency mode's FPS counter in Cyberpunk, so I think it was working as well. This is the update log of SDK 2.1. Standalone XLL is not supported on non-Intel GPUs. XSS low latency mode. Some improvements for XSS super resolution for Vulkan API. Just download the SDK from here. Expand the asset section. Click on the dot zip link. Just to be clear, in order to use XSS frame generation and low latency mode on non-Intel GPUs, the games already need to support these features. We just need to update the existing XSS files to the latest one. Don't need to use any mods. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find this zip file XSS SDK. I have transferred it to another directory. It does not matter. First, I'll update the XSS files for Cyberpunk 2077. I'll also compare XSS frame generation with in-game FSR frame generation. Open the archive file. Click on Extract. Click on Extract here. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finish. Close. Open the extracted folder. There it is. Now you just need to open bin folder and copy the highlighted files. Leave XSS dot TLL. This TLL file corresponds to XSS super resolution, the upscaler. Next, we have leave XSS underscore FG dot TLL. This file corresponds to XSS frame generation. Next, we have leave XLL dot TLL. This file corresponds to XSS low latency mode. Right click, copy. Need to paste them in the games installed directory. Just select the game in your Steam library. Cyberpunk there it is. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. This will open the games installed directory. Do not paste the files here. Open bin folder. Open x64 folder. Paste the files here. Replace the existing file with the latest one. Apply to all override. If you want to revert the change, just verify game data integrity via Steam. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Switch to SteamOS game mode. For Cyberpunk, I am using G Proton version 10-10 as the compatibility layer. Connected my Flight DG Vader 4 Pro controller to Deck via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. I have the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. I have overclocked it to 70Hz. Performance QM settings. OLED level set to 3. Disable SteamOS basing by enabling disable frame limit and allow tearing settings. Manual GPU clock switch setting disable for the time being. First, I choose the base game performance. Run the game without any frame generation technique. I am using the low graphics preset upscaler set to XSS2. We will be combining the same upscaler with FSR frame generation and XSS frame generation using the balance preset of XSS upscaler. Sharpness level 0.5. Frame generation disable for the time being. Most of settings set to low. Post processing effects disable, film grain, chromatic abrasion, depth of field, lens flare, and motion blur. With the low preset, some settings are set to medium. Video settings display mode windowed borderless. Resolution 800p. Yeah, we have access to XC low latency, XCLL. Why well, just enable it? Why not? This game actually supports AMD's anti lag too. But anti lag 2 is not compatible with Linux. XCLL's FPS gap. 
we think of like here we are in I am standing right outside V's apartment building in Little China here FPS is within a range of 30 to 40 hitting the GPU bottleneck as expected but look at that CPU load 93% oh my god this game is very heavy on the CPU animation quality here is looking a bit choppy as expected 30 to 41 FPS better to cap the FPS at 30 for a more stable experience if you plan on playing the game without frame generation let's test XCLL's FPS cap video settings I have applied a 30 FPS cap from here apply resume the game and now FPS is capped at 30 see staring at the sky to reduce the hardware load FPS is still capped at 30 so XCLL does seem to be working just remove the cap now set FPS target to 0 apply resume the game yeah now we are getting close to 55 FPS ok now I'll test the in-game FSR frame generation show you its smoothing effect disable XCLL off from the graphics setting just set frame generation to FSR 3.1 need to restart the game for FSR frame generation to work properly DEX APU draws up to 15 watts of power this power is shared between the CPU and the GPU if the CPU draws too much of power GPU's performance will tank and vice versa so I'll apply a manual GPU clock speed setting of 1400 MHz look at the same sequence here FPS here is within a range of 50 to 60 but I'm not impressed with the animation quality it's looking so choppy then what's the point of enabling FSR frame generation it's only going to increase the game's latency animation quality is looking so choppy here almost as if FSR frame generation smoothing effect is not working at all 45 to 60 FPS ok now I'll switch to XCSS frame generation graphics settings frame generation just set it to XCSS apply restart the game game is starting steam OS PC disable manual GPU clock switch setting enable 1400 MHz same as before do it the same sequence here FPS is within a range of 50 to 60 but look at that smoothing effect XCSS frame generation smoothing effect is better than that of FSR frame generation smoothing effect is actually working properly unlike FSR frame generation it's very consistent does not get disabled during fast visual motion very impressive results produced by XCSS version 2.1 latency it seems to be manageable unfortunately the base FPS in this game is on the lower side that's why there will be some noticeable latency ok I'll just steal this vehicle games interface it's not flickering no ghosting will be produced around the vehicle's bumper when the vehicle is moving at high speed I just wanted to highlight this just observe the vehicle's bumper when using Nukem 9's mod in this game, yeah, some ghosting is produced around the vehicle's bumper. I use another mod to fix this ghosting issue, but no such mods are required in the case of the in-game XCSS frame generation. Now observe the vehicle's bumper. No ghosting is produced around it. Move the camera away. So very good results produced by XCSS. Now practically speaking if you want to use XCSS subscaler I would recommend using it via OptiScaler mod in this game. In game XCSS subscaler produces some noticeable texture shimmering around fine textures like fences and meshes. Now I'm in Dogtown. This area is exclusive to Phantom Liberty. It's more demanding than the vanilla version of Cyberpunk. Unfortunately Steam Deck cannot maintain a steady 30 FPS in this game. This is why FPS with XCSS frame generation is within a range of 40 to 50. Not the ideal experience, I know. Don't recommend playing Phantom Liberty on Steam Deck. It's very choppy as you can see. Just wanted to highlight a frame generation related bug. 
equip my gun just observe the iron sights of my gun I'll move the camera around quickly yeah there is some ghosting even the in-game FSR frame generation produces this ghosting it's a frame generation related artifact frame generation is not perfect interpolated frames they always produce some artifacts it's all about minimizing these artifacts combat again 40 to 50 fps so it's highly recommended to use XCSS frame generation in this game way better than the in-game FSR frame generation implementation and you don't even need to use other mods to get XCSS frame generation working properly just need to manually update the existing XCSS files to the latest one now I'll test Hogwarts in Hogwarts after updating XCSS to the latest version in-game FSR frame generation does not work properly so I'll just test in-game FSR frame generation before updating the XCSS files G Proton version 10-10 as the compatibility layer lost the game in-game settings windowed full screen mode in this game I was not able to combine XCSS upscaler with FSR frame generation so I'll just use FSR 3 upscaler which is actually FSR 3.1 was able to combine it with XCSS frame generation and FSR frame generation using the upscaler's balance preset sharpness level 0.2 frame generation disabled for the time being vsync off frame rate cap 360 post processing effects all of them disabled low settings ray tracing off performance QM settings OLA level set to 3 I have not disabled SteamOS vsync it can cause some stutters after enabling FSR frame generation manual GPU clock setting disabled I am standing at the entrance of Hogsmeade yeah FPS here is variable Thirty-five to fifty. I'm showing some frame pacing issues. Oh my God! Hard speed, very heavy on the CPU, as you can see. Not hitting the GPU bottleneck. Interesting. Okay, now I'll enable FSR frame generation. Open the graphics settings. Set frame generation to AMD frame generation. Enable manual GPU clock speed setting set the speed to 1400 megahertz resume the game yeah i can observe that amount of smoothness fps increase to around 55 55 to 65 depends on the scene so smoothing effect of fsr is working properly in this game i'll show you some graphical artifacts related to fsr just observe the left and right edges of the display I'm going to spin the camera you'll observe a screen tearing like effect see right here move the camera again there's the tearing effect that I was talking about I hope my mobile phone is able to capture it I'll show you another FSR frame generation related artifact this tearing effect becomes noticeable when the base FPS is on the lower side now just observe my character's robe around the left edge of the display some double images are being produced see these double images will be produced even when the character is standing close to the right edge of the display common FSR frame generation related artifact see ok now I'll show you how to use XCSS frame generation in this game so it's all about the graphical artifacts and Hogwarts it's the same process that we use for cyberpunk let's extract the contents of xcss sdk archive file in this is the folder copy the three dll files present inside bin folder lib xcss dot dll lib xcss underscore fg dot dll and lib xcss dot dll need to paste them in the game sense dot directory select Hogwarts in your steam library there it is right click manage click on browse local files I'll show you where to paste these three DLL files open engine folder open plugins folder open runtime folder open intel folder open xcss folder open binaries folder open third party folder win64 folder replace the older files with the latest ones apply to all overwrite that's it now if you are wondering 
about the function of lib xcss underscore dx 11 dot tll file it's for native xcss subscalers support in directx 11 mode which is only supported by intel arc gpus not supported by amd gpus switch to streamer as game mode launch the game in game settings just set frame generation to xcss frame gen two times don't need to change the fs upscaler xcss low latency mode enabled that's good to see performance game settings manual gpu clock speed setting enabled 1400 MHz load the same sequence standing at the entrance of Hogsmeade spinning the camera around 60 to 70 fps I can observe the end amount of smoothness yes XCSS frame generation is working properly in Hogwarts observing some latency it's expected as the base fps here is on the lower side 30 to 40 latency is manageable its latency is not higher than that of FSR frame generation games interface is not flickering just observe the edges of the display I'll spin the camera and no screen tearing like effect is produced now move the camera closer to my character character standing close to the left edge of the display spinning the camera around no double images are produced see the rope so one thing is for sure xcss frame generation produces less graphical artifacts than fsr frame generation in cyberpunk you saw some flickering around the iron sides of our weapon nothing extreme subtitles not flickering 55 to 70 fps in hogsmeade I hope more games in the future will come with official XCSS frame generation support. It even works on Steam Deck. It's great to see. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.